everyone. Dinner today is pot roast. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so here I have my boneless chuck roast that I've been marinating in my Worcestershire. I'm also going to use some of my beef broth base and my chamois garlic butter. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut mine into smaller pieces, but feel free to leave yours whole. This just helps when I'm serving. I can just get the piece of meat out of the, the pot <laughs> and I don't have to do all that cutting. So if you want to cut it, go ahead and get that out the way. All right, I promise you that was the hardest part of this recipe is cutting up the meat. <laughs> all right, now we have our meat nice and cut. You see the like the size of the, the portions that way. When you're ready to serve it, all you gotta do is serve. All right, I put a little olive oil on there. Go ahead and heat up your skillet if you're gonna go ahead and brown and sear in that flavor. I'm gonna toss this around. Now in my pan, I have just a little bit of olive oil. My main ingredient I'm gonna use is my chamois butter. Add some of that in there. And then I'm just gonna start adding in my meat. And I'm just gonna let them cook for just a few minutes, you all on each side, till it gets brown. And of course, I'll show you all once I get them to the way that I want mine. And if you don't wanna brown your meat, just skip this step, okay? All right, you all, here is my meat brown. And now I'm just gonna throw some onions in here. And give them a couple of minutes. Now, I'm going to grab my crock pot, but if you want to put yours in the oven, you sure can. Um, with the crock pot, let's say you're making this in the morning before work, please feel free to put all your ingredients in there together. Since I'll be home, I'm going to cook my meat first for a couple of hours, and then I'm going to add in my vegetables. I like to do that if I'm going to be home. That way, my I know my vegetables won't get to that texture that I don't really like. If they're just slightly overcooked, I'm just like, <sighs> you know. So I'm gonna add these meat pieces in. We're gonna add in those caramelized onions that soaked up that flavor and that butter, honey. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. And now all we have to do is literally uh, put this on. Don't need to add anything else, just cover it and if you're going to be home, set your timer for two hours. If you're leaving for work, set it for four, especially if you have a one that'll turn off on its own. You only need four hours, okay? All right, so we'll come back when it's time to add in our vegetables. All right, it's been a couple hours. So this is what our meat is looking like. It smells so good, you all. So as you can see, we've created some juice. Our meat created its own juice. So now what we're gonna do is you can go ahead and just add in whatever veggies you desire. I'm gonna add in some fresh mushrooms. I'm gonna add in some carrots. And my potatoes. And you can go ahead and stir that in. Now for my gravy, I'm gonna take a little flour. You can choose to Make yours how you like. Get you a couple of packets of the savory pot roast by crock pot, or you can just use what you like. And you just wanna add them in together. If you like to add any additional seasonings, this will be the time to do so. So you just wanna blend that around real good and start pouring in your beef broth or beef stock, whichever you have, or use water, whatever you want. But blend that real well. Make it to where it's like a, you know, you don't need a whole lot of broth because you just want to add it all in together anyway. But you want enough liquid in there to where you can blend uh, the powder, you know, and all your seasonings and things together, okay, to where it's not clumpy. And once you have it smooth enough, go ahead and pour that in just like that. And then you want to add in more of your beef broth. And you can add as much as you like. It just depends on how much gravy you're trying to make. 
And honey, all you have to do is cover this and let it cook. I'm gonna add a little bit of my diced pimentos and stir that in. And at this point, we're going to cover it and cook it for the last two hours, okay? Again, don't forget, you can do all this in one step, okay? All right, when I come back, I'm gonna show you all the finished product. Okay, you all, my pot roast is done. And um, after the two hours was up, you all, I checked my meat and just wanted it to cook a little bit longer. So make sure after those second two hours, you just check it and see if it's tender enough for you. If not, honey, keep it cooking. So I cook mine another hour and a half, okay? So a total of five and a half hours. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how I serve my pot roast. So what I like to do is to make some rice or some potatoes, but since I put some, or mashed potatoes rather, but since I put potatoes in the pot roast this time, I did not do that. So I got some rice, honey, and you just get some of your, your fixings, you know, to go on top, just like that. Add a couple of potatoes, honey, got your mushrooms, and that's dinner, okay? That is dinner. So what do you all think? One thing I want you to try is those flavors, okay? Because you're gonna love the blend together. So again, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and you have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day.